is the way they are open to our culture. You understand? They open to our culture in a way that we, we are truly grateful and appreciative for. And many of the things that I say I don't like about Europe is that in, in Europe sometimes you, you might encounter different people who still can't see humanity as one. Yeah. You understand? So racism is something I don't like. I, I personally don't see race as a matter. I see us, us all living in this garden which is life, which is earth, mother earth, which is the garden of the creator. And we're different shades of flowers, different color flowers. For us as human, I always say a garden with one color flowers is what we call a boring garden. It's, it's not beautiful, you understand? So for, for the creator to have a garden with just one color flowers, it's not beautiful to him because it's not beautiful to us. I would like, that's a part of Europe when you encounter those little experiences. But as I'm saying, give thanks for the growing generation, give thanks for the age of information, and give thanks for the open-mindedness of the youths of today because they are championing that cause to see us closer as one people than to see us in the separate groups, 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 groups. Sometimes the way our country's decisions are made impact our life in many ways. But then you wake up tomorrow morning and you hear that this is now illegal in Italy. You have to abide by that law. So it affects your life. Even if you're a kid going to school, it affects your life. So you're going into school today, you hear out oh, tomorrow you can't wear that in class anymore. Why? The new law say. So even the kids <laughs> in the school is affected by the political decision that they make. So why I always talk about poverty and try to put these topics in front of the eyes of the people. We're living in a world where many people want to, to show us that poverty is, a, is something that, okay, they can't solve. It is this big problem. It is this phenomenon that, oh, we can't get rid of it. Okay, let's sit down for a minute and ask yourself this question. We have a billion, two billion people in poverty, but we throw away five billion dollars worth of food every year. So instantly, that means there is no poverty. It is design. Because now that's, you're throwing away more food, you're wasting more food, you're throwing away more money. So instantly, if, 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 if somebody did work it out to me like, okay, poverty exists because lack of resources, then we could understand. But there's no lack of resources. <laughs> so when you look at a country and say to the people of the country, we can't help the kids in school at this moment. We can't help the people who retire, who have given 30, 50, 40 years of their life to this country and its welfare. Now they are home and all they need from you, all the elders need is a little welfare. They have contributed so much to your society. But you would say, oh, this moment we can't afford welfare. But we're going to put five billion into war. So this is what we're trying to let the people, and I think many of the youths of today, they are looking at that. They have to be aware because when we say consciousness, a youth might think we're saying, oh, they just become a rasta or become a part of, no, conscious, a conscious-minded person is a person who is totally aware of who you are, where you're from, where you're standing, your surrounding, every aspect of your life. You're totally aware of the things you put in your body, the clothes you put on, the words that come out of your mouth, the way you react to somebody, the way you interact with somebody, the way you communicate. So that's consciousness. And what we have to realize, whenever we don't get conscious anymore, what they do? They take us out of society and put us in some looney tune place. So when we're saying to you to be conscious, don't let them tell you that Rasta is just telling you to be Rasta. No, it's about you being conscious who you are. Because sometimes, if you are going to be the person who group up together in a group, unite together, and then make a decision to do, to put in a leader in your country that now make the decision to kill millions of people, you should be held responsible because you're a part of that decision making that give that political leader this power. Power is not something that somebody does. It's something that is given. And the power comes from the people. So sometimes the people have to wake up to realize that you are being played. You are being manipulated. The, the same tax you pay, 
your kids can benefit from it. But then we would take this tax money and you hear some politician drink it out with his friends, spend it out in billions somewhere. He got this vacation home, value more than the country GDP. The political system affects your day-to-day -day life in many ways more than you want it to be. So in order for you to change those decision making, be a part of it. You understand? And vet these people. We grew up in a system where many of my friends say, okay, I'm from the right wing. Oh, I'm from the left wing. Why do you support it? Oh, my mother. Oh, my father. Oh, it's my community. But you yourself can't give a collective or a positive answer. So this is why, this is why we always try to because it plays a vital role in our life. And I watch where, now in Jamaica, the political decisions say marijuana is legal. So now, Jamaican youths now, who used to go to jail, lose their opportunity. You could be a great football player, but then, oh, you can't get no opportunity because you smoke weed. So all your career is over. All of that changed now. And that's just one political decision. So look how effective these political decisions. Well, there's many, there's many young artists out there that I admire. You understand? But what I learned growing up in this music business and even in life itself, let time tell. That's why Bob Marley said, time will tell. <laughs> See, so I learned to let time tell because I've met many artists on this journey and you say, wow, this is a great artist. Oh, I like his work. I like what he's doing. And by next week, <laughs> He's so disappointed because of not just his music, but then his views. He, he started to say things that sometimes you wonder if, if he's dope out or his drugs out. Or, you understand? So for me, as I say to my kid today, I said to my virgin, which he's telling me about few young artists. And I say, yeah, nice artists. I like them. But me, my experience, I'm going to give them time. You understand? It's like I learned to test every spirit. Test, test every spirit that presents itself to you. Because you now what, what we have to be totally aware of in this time, it is we're living in a time of fakeness. So I'm a lion, I'm going to say I'm a lion. This is who I am. This is what I'm going to be, a lion. So I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not a lion trying to tell you I'm a dog. I'm not a lion trying to tell you I'm a butterfly. So then you have to be aware now because many people come and say, oh, I'm a sheep. And then you find out he's a wolf. So if you're a wolf, represent... So to me, if you're doing if anything you're doing, because then if, if, if you're a thug and you're loyal, one day you might be a good person and then you will also be loyal. But if you can't be loyal to nothing, you will never be loyal to any subject matter in life. Yeah, so big up all the young artists in the music business, not just in reggae music, but all over the world, because I've learned to listen to many other music and realize that conscious message is not just coming from reggae many times. But there's many other music out there with a message sending for us to listen. So big up all the artists in the world, all around the world, and to the next generation. My hope is in you. Remember, I always say that to the next generation. My hope is in you. So the things that we might cannot get to accomplish today, one day you will. I love all my songs and I always say to everybody, the, songs I, the song I love the most is still the one I'm making. <laughs> so, guys, every day you get up is that new melody. That's what you're going to find yourself meditating on. But a song called Nobody Wanna Plant the Can, for me, is one of those songs that is like, you sing this song, but every day you wake up is the same. This song can be played every day, every day, every day, because it's happening so much, so much. You understand? It, it, it's so timeless and every generation will come and experience it.